Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Dukana. A traditional Antiguan and Barbudan dish made from grated sweet potatoes, coconut, and spices, wrapped in banana leaves and steamed. Dukana is a traditional and beloved dish in Antigua and Barbuda, typically served as a side dish or accompaniment to various main courses. It's made from grated sweet potatoes, coconut, and spices, all wrapped in banana leaves and steamed to perfection. Dukana has a sweet and savory flavor profile that pairs wonderfully with many Caribbean dishes. Here's how to make it. Ingredients. 2 cups grated sweet potatoes, about 2 to 3 medium-sized sweet potatoes. 1 cup grated coconut, freshly grated or desiccated coconut. 1 half cup brown sugar, adjust to taste. 1 quarter teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. Banana leaves or foil for wrapping, if banana leaves are not available. Instructions. Prepare the sweet potatoes. Peel and grate the sweet potatoes using a box grater. Place the grated sweet potatoes in a large mixing bowl. Prepare the coconut. Grate the coconut, if using fresh coconut. If you're using desiccated coconut, measure it out. Mix the ingredients. Add the grated coconut, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and salt to the bowl with the grated sweet potatoes. Mix everything together thoroughly until well combined. Taste the mixture and adjust the sweetness by adding more sugar if desired. Wrap in banana leaves or foil. Cut banana leaves into large squares and briefly heat them over an open flame to make them pliable. If banana leaves are not available, you can use aluminum foil instead. Place a portion of the sweet potato mixture onto each square of banana leaf or foil. Fold the banana leaves or foil around the mixture to create rectangular parcels, making sure they are well sealed. Steam the Dukana. Place the wrapped Dukana parcels in a steamer or large pot with a steamer rack. Steam them over medium heat for about 45 minutes to 1 hour, or until the Dukana is firm and cooked through. If using banana leaves, the leaves will change color and become more translucent as the Dukana cooks. Serve. Carefully unwrap the Dukana parcels and serve the steamed sweet potato and coconut mixture as a delightful side dish. Dukana is often served alongside savory dishes like salt fish, grilled fish, or meats. Its sweet and slightly spicy flavor complements the savory elements of a meal and adds a unique and authentic taste of Antiguan and Barbudan cuisine to your plate. Enjoy this delicious Caribbean side dish. Roti. Influenced by Indian cuisine, roti in Antigua and Barbuda is a type of flatbread filled with curried vegetables, meat, or seafood. Roti is a type of unleavened flatbread that is popular in various cuisines, including Indian, Caribbean, and Southeast Asian. It serves as a versatile accompaniment to a wide range of dishes or can be filled with various fillings to create flavorful wraps. Here's more about roti. Ingredients. The basic ingredients for making roti are simple and typically include flour. Roti is traditionally made using whole wheat flour, atta, or a combination of whole wheat and all-purpose flour. The choice of flour affects the texture and flavor of the roti. Water. Water is used to create the dough by mixing it with the flour. The amount of water can vary depending on the desired consistency of the dough. Salt. A small amount of salt is added to enhance the flavor of the roti. Fat. Some recipes include a small amount of fat, such as oil or ghee, in the dough for added flavor and softness. However, traditional roti recipes often omit this ingredient. Preparation. Making roti is a relatively straightforward process. Mixing. In a mixing bowl, combine the flour and salt. Cut in the fat, lard, shortening, or butter, until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Adding liquid. Gradually add the water or milk, a little at a time, and stir until the dough comes together. The dough should be soft and pliable but not overly sticky. Shaping. Divide the dough into small portions and shape them into rounds or small cakes. Some recipes call for flattening the cakes, while others keep them round. Cooking. Roti can be cooked by either frying or baking, depending on regional preferences. Frying. Heat a skillet or frying pan with a small amount of oil or fat over medium-high heat. Once hot, add the roti and cook until they are golden brown on both sides, typically a few minutes per side. Drain on paper towels to remove excess oil. Baking. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius. 
Place the shaped roti on a baking sheet and bake for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they are golden brown. Jerk chicken. Spicy and flavorful chicken marinated in jerk seasonings and grilled to perfection. Jerk chicken is a popular and flavorful dish that hails from Jamaica, and it's enjoyed worldwide for its spicy and aromatic taste. The dish gets its name from the method of cooking and the seasoning blend known as jerk seasoning. Here's how to make jerk chicken. Ingredients. For the jerk marinade, 3 to 4 pounds of chicken pieces, e.g., drumsticks, thighs, or bone in breast. 4 to 6 scotch bonnet peppers, adjust to your spice tolerance, or use milder peppers for less heat. 4 to 6 green onions, chopped. 1 small onion, chopped. 4 to 6 cloves of garlic. 1 thumb-sized piece of ginger, peeled and chopped. 1 tablespoon ground allspice. 1 tablespoon dried thyme. 1 tablespoon ground cinnamon. 1 tablespoon ground nutmeg. 1 tablespoon brown sugar. 2 tablespoons soy sauce. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil. 2 tablespoons vinegar, white or apple cider. Juice of 2 limes or lemons. Salt and black pepper to taste. Instructions. Prepare the jerk marinade. In a food processor or blender, combine all the marinade ingredients. Scotch bonnet peppers, green onions, onion, garlic, ginger, ground allspice, dried thyme, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, brown sugar, soy sauce, vegetable oil, vinegar, lime or lemon juice, salt, and black pepper. Blend until you have a smooth and thick marinade. Marinate the chicken. Place the chicken pieces in a large bowl or zip-top bag. Pour the jerk marinade over the chicken, ensuring it's well-coated. Massage the marinade into the chicken pieces. Seal the bag or cover the bowl and refrigerate for at least 2 hours, or ideally overnight, to allow the flavors to meld. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat, around 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 minus 200 degrees Celsius. Grill the chicken. Remove the chicken from the marinade and shake off any excess. Grill the chicken pieces over indirect heat for about 30 to 45 minutes, turning occasionally, until the chicken is cooked through and has a nice char and grill marks. You can also use a smoker for added smoky flavor. Rest and serve. Once the chicken is cooked through and has a crispy exterior, remove it from the grill and let it rest for a few minutes. Serve your jerk chicken hot, garnished with additional chopped green onions or fresh lime wedges. Seafood. Freshly caught seafood, including lobster, shrimp, and fish, often grilled or fried. Seafood is a diverse category of food that includes a wide variety of edible marine animals and plants. Seafood is enjoyed by people all over the world and is known for its diverse flavors, textures, and health benefits. Here are some common types of seafood. Fish. Fish is perhaps the most popular type of seafood. Varieties include salmon, tuna, cod, haddock, trout, snapper, and many more. Fish can be baked, grilled, fried, or used in sushi and sashimi. Shrimp. Shrimp are small, sweet, and versatile. They can be grilled, boiled, sautéed, or used in dishes like shrimp scampi, shrimp cocktail, and shrimp stir-fry. Crab. Crab meat is tender and flavorful. Popular crab dishes include crab cakes, crab legs, and crab bisque. Lobster. Lobster is considered a luxury seafood known for its sweet and tender meat. Lobster is often boiled or grilled and served with melted butter. Mussels. Mussels are often steamed and served in a variety of flavorful broths or sauces, such as white wine and garlic. Clams. Clams can be eaten raw, as in clam ceviche, or cooked in dishes like clam chowder, linguine with clam sauce, and stuffed clams. Oysters. Oysters are enjoyed both raw, on the half shell with various toppings, and cooked, grilled, baked, or fried. Squid, calamari. Squid is commonly served as calamari, which is deep fried and often served with marinara sauce or aioli. Octopus. Octopus is used in dishes like grilled octopus salad or Mediterranean style octopus stew. Scallops. Scallops are sweet and tender and can be pan seared, grilled, or baked. Anchovies. Anchovies are small, oily fish often used as a flavor enhancer in various dishes, such as Caesar salad dressing and pizza. Caviar. Caviar consists of salted fish eggs, roe, and is considered a delicacy. It is typically served on crackers or bread. Seaweed. Various types of seaweed, such as nori, kelp, and wakame, are used in sushi, salads, and soups. Tuna. 
Tuna is popular for sushi and sashimi but is also used in sandwiches, salads, and grilled dishes. Sardines. Sardines are small, oily fish often packed in cans and enjoyed on crackers or in salads. Eel. Eel is commonly used in sushi rolls and can be grilled or broiled with a sweet soy-based glaze. Crayfish. Crayfish, also known as crawfish or freshwater lobsters, are similar in taste to lobster and are often boiled with spices. Surimi. Surimi is a processed seafood product often used to make imitation crab and lobster meat. Sweet potato pudding. A traditional dessert made from grated sweet potatoes, coconut milk, and spices, often baked to a custardy consistency. Sweet potato pudding is a delightful and comforting dessert that's popular in Caribbean cuisine, particularly in Jamaica. This rich and satisfying pudding is made from grated sweet potatoes, coconut milk, spices, and sugar, resulting in a dessert with a smooth, custard-like texture. Here's how to make sweet potato pudding. Ingredients. 2 to 3 large sweet potatoes, about 2 pounds. 1 cup grated coconut, freshly grated or desiccated coconut soaked in water. 1 and a half cups coconut milk, canned or fresh. 1 cup brown sugar, adjust to taste. 1 half cup all-purpose flour. 1 half teaspoon ground nutmeg. 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 quarter teaspoon ground allspice. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 quarter cup butter, melted. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 to 2 tablespoons rum, optional. Raisins or mixed dried fruits, optional. Instructions. Prepare the sweet potatoes. Peel and grate the sweet potatoes using a box grater or a food processor. Place the grated sweet potatoes in a large mixing bowl. Prepare the grated coconut. If you're using desiccated coconut, soak it in warm water for about 15 to 20 minutes to rehydrate it. Then, drain and squeeze out excess water. If using freshly grated coconut, no need to soak. Mix the ingredients. Add the grated coconut, brown sugar, flour, ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, ground allspice, and salt to the bowl with the grated sweet potatoes. Mix everything together until well combined. Add the wet ingredients. Pour in the coconut milk, melted butter, vanilla extract, and rum, if using. Stir the mixture until it's well incorporated and has a uniform consistency. If desired, fold in raisins or mixed dried fruits. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Grease a baking dish or casserole dish. Bake the pudding. Pour the sweet potato mixture into the greased baking dish, spreading it evenly. Bake in the preheated oven for approximately 1 to 1.5 hours, or until the pudding is set and the top is golden brown. You can check for doneness by inserting a toothpick into the center. It should come out clean when the pudding is ready. Cool and serve. Allow the sweet potato pudding to cool for a while before slicing and serving. It can be enjoyed warm or at room temperature. Optional topping. Some people like to drizzle extra coconut milk or rum sauce over the pudding before serving for added flavor.